Hello everyone, this is Ion Africa for Friday, January 28th. Here are the headlines. The ECOWAS regional bloc suspends Burkina Faso after this week's coup d'etat, but it will not impose other sanctions pending the outcome of talks with the junta. Mali's foreign minister says it rules nothing out when it comes to its relationship with France and calls comments made by his French counterpart, quote, full of contempt. And boy, have we got a treat for you. A new study has for the first time determined how hippopotamuses interact with each other, depending on which sounds they make. We'll talk to the co-author of that study coming up. But first, ECOWAS, the Western African regional bloc, has suspended Burkina Faso from its governing bodies days after the country's army overthrew President Roque Kabouré. Ghanaian President Nana akufo addo the acting chairman, has urged a firm response. It's now the third military coup in less than 18 months among ECOWAS nations. Charlie James has the latest. West African leaders have suspended Burkina Faso from the 15-member Economic Community of Western African States bloc. This according to officials who attended a virtual ECOWAS summit held Friday in response to Monday's coup in Burkina Faso. The resurgence of coup d'etats in our region is in direct violation of our democratic tenets and represents a threat to peace, security, and stability in West Africa. The rest of the world is looking us, up to us to be firm in this matter. ECOWAS also reportedly plans to send a delegation to the capital of Ouagadougou and is calling for the new junta to release ousted President Rochmar Christian Cabaret. The bloc will not impose other sanctions for the time being. Civil society organizations in Burkina had urged ECOWAS not to. We therefore dare to tell ECOWAS to be very careful with its sanctions against the people of Burkina Faso, against this transition, because we are not going to let them do it to us. We are not going to let Burkina Faso fall prey to imperialist powers once again. The coup in Burkina Faso is the latest in a wave of military power grabs in the region. ECOWAS suspended and imposed sanctions following coups in member states Mali in August 2020 and Guinea in September 2021. The trade embargoes and border closures have harmed business, but military leaders remain in positions of power. Burkina's coup leader said Thursday the nation will return to constitutional order, quote, when the conditions are right. Mali is ruling nothing out when it comes to its relationship with France. So the, those are the words of Foreign Minister Abdoulaye Diop speaking to France 24. He also addressed comments made by his French counterpart and said they were, quote, full of contempt. Earlier, Jean-Yves Le Drian had called Mali's junta out of control. Here's Abdoulaye Diop. And you can, of course, watch that full interview on our website, France24.com. Meanwhile, European allies have set a two-week deadline to review what they are calling an untenable situation in Mali. Tensions have escalated between the country and its international partners in recent weeks after the junta failed to hold an election following two military coups. The deployment of Russian mercenaries has not helped either. Several, several European nations have called that incompatible with their mission. Let's take a quick look now at some of the other top stories from across the continent. Kenya is ramping up security after several foreign embassies warned of possible terror attacks against Westerners. Heavily armed police officers were seen patrolling the streets of Nairobi and outside key government offices, luxury hotels and shopping malls. The country's police spokesperson says security has been beefed up to ensure the protection of Kenyans and critical infrastructure. Rwanda will reopen its border with Uganda next week after a three-year closure. The major breakthrough in repairing relations between the neighbors comes after a visit to Kigali by the Ugandan president's son last weekend. The border was suddenly closed in February of 2019, with the two countries accusing each other of espionage 
abductions and meddling. And Morocco will end its ban on flights to the country beginning February 7th. In a statement, the government says the decision was in line with the nation's epidemiological situation. Moroccan borders have been closed since December. Only rare repatriation flights were authorized on a case-by-case -case basis by authorities in Rabat. Well, next up, we have a guest who will be joining us via Skype, but before we introduce him, we're going to do things a little bit differently. We are going to play the sound of an animal and let's see if you can guess what that animal is. Here it is. All right, well, if you guessed hippopotamus, you are correct. Hippo calls have been studied and recorded for years. But for the first time, a team of researchers studying hippos in Mozambique have determined that these calls also act as a signal to identify themselves. So our guest tonight is Professor Nicolas Matevon, the co-author of the study. Thank you very much for, for being with us. Uh, first of all, what we just heard is something that is called a wheeze honk. What is that exactly? Um, this is one of the call of the hippos. You know, hippos have a, a huge vocal repertoire. They, they can uh, emit uh, many calls. They can emit squeals, they can emit uh, contact calls, whatever. And uh, these with honks are the most common call, common calls of the hippos. They, they emit uh, this, this call a lot. And uh, this call is very loud. It can propagate at uh, almost one kilometer. And um, we, we, we tested the, the function of this call. And actually, we found that uh, it allows recognition between uh, individuals and between groups of hippos. So you said you tested those the, those calls. Tell us how you conducted and set up the research. You actually recorded some of those calls and then played them back in the wild. Exactly. So we so the first step is um, is to record the hippos. So you have to go uh, close to the to groups of hippos and then record individuals. And then uh, using a big loudspeaker because you need a big loudspeaker to reproduce the the, the loud sound of the hippo. Then uh, uh, with this big loudspeaker, we're able to play back the, the recorded sounds to the, to the groups of hippos. And uh, we, we set up um, an experimental protocol where we played back to, to each group of hippos three different kinds of signals. Uh, one was uh, with honks recorded from an individual from the testing group. The other signal was uh, with honks recorded from a familiar group living on the same lake at uh, several hundred meters from the tested one. And the last uh, calls was from a stranger group recorded on another lake. And we, and actually, uh, have, we actually have video of, of one of the reactions to those calls being, being played. Let's, uh, let's yeah. play that now. So the first sound you heard or our viewers heard was uh, that play, that, 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 that call you, you, you recorded being played. And then, of course, after those few seconds was the response. What was that response? So uh, in this video, the response was mainly vocal. So you, you, we, we can hear the, the, all the individuals in the groups responding to the playback call. Sometimes the response is uh, stronger, especially when uh, we emitted uh, a call from uh, uh, an unfamiliar individual. And uh, we observed, you know, some individuals of the group of hippos came towards the loudspeaker. And uh, sometimes they, they get out a little bit of water. And uh, the, the most dominant individual of the group uh, marks his territory. So uh, researchers, so what makes this study unique is that researchers knew that hippos had these calls, but it was the first time that you actually tried to determine what these calls actually meant. Exactly. exactly. So uh, we already knew that the hippos had a, a, a huge vocal repertoire, but it's uh, quite tricky to uh, really ask them, uh, what do you emit these calls? What, what, what are they meaning, actually, to decipher their language, so to say? And uh, to, to, do that, to do this, playback experiments are an excellent means, I mean, <clears throat> because you really ask questions to the, to the animals. So it's not, it's not just vocal reactions. We actually have another video uh, showing one of the preferred hippo reactions when they hear a call coming from a stranger. 
And a word of warning, if you're having dinner right now, you might want to keep your eyes closed. Take a look. So that is something that is called the spray dung. That is a hostile reaction, correct? Yes, it's quite an aggressive reaction. Actually, it's uh, they, they are when they are doing this, they mark their territory because you know acoustic communication is important in hippos for sure. But they have also they use also other communication channels, and one of the main channel that they use is the chemicals. They, and doing this uh, this uh, behavior, I mean, they spray odor, their odor all, all over the place, and this odor will remain, uh, you know, because the acoustic signals, they, they are very efficient signal to transmit information, but once they have been emitted, then they disappear. So to, to really have a strong signal that will remain after that, they, they put these chemicals all over the place. Very quickly, tell us a bit about some of the implications of your findings, especially when it comes to, uh, to conservation. Yeah, it's because, you know, there's more and more human animal, con human hippos conflict. Hippos are very dangerous animals. And so we really need to increase our knowledge about the, the hippos biology to, to take uh, uh, inf inf informed decision to, to take right decision to know how to to manage those uh, those animals and so that's uh, that that could be an, an idea maybe if we want one day to translocate groups of hippos maybe we could you know use their signal their recorded signal to habituate you know new neighbors or things like this we did not try this but maybe that that could be an idea Nicolas Madvon, the co-author of this study on hippo calls. Thank you very much for being with us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks. And that does it for Ion Africa. I will not attempt a wheeze honk and I'll just stick to a plain old goodbye and see you next time.